donkey of the day right there. <laughs> The, the Breakfast Club, bitches. You can call me the donkey of the day, but, like, I mean no harm. Donkey of the day for Tuesday, June 7th goes to a Milwaukee man named Travis Lamar Berkeley. Drop on the clues bonds from Milwaukee, one of my favorite cities. Salute to everyone who listens to us on V100.7 in Milwaukee, the first city, first city to ever syndicate The Breakfast Club. Thank you, Bailey Coleman. Drop on the clues bonds for Bailey. You are appreciated, but just because I love your city, that means nothing this morning because Donkey of the Day does not discriminate. And today, Travis Lamar Berkeley must come to the front of the congregation. Let me tell you something, man. Uh, first of all, I'm looking at this man's mugshot, and there is no way he's 34 years old. Okay, this man looks like he has only drank 64 ounces of water, period, in his, old, his whole 34 years of existence. Okay, when you watch this later on YouTube, you will see what I'm talking about. This is a 1969 looking 34 year old okay he looks like he was in a group that started with the okay the whispers the four tops the temptations ain't nobody coming to see you old his face ass all right does it make me a birther because i want to see this man's birth certificate i know stress will you know give a young man an old face but this man was born in 1988 allegedly 1988 the golden year of hip-hop and he looks older than every rapper that dropped that year Okay, he looks older than every rapper that dropped that year. Slick Rick, Rock Kim, both members of the EPMD, KRS-One, DJ Jazzy Jeff, and the Fresh Prince. I mean, my God. But that's not what we are here today to discuss. We are here today to discuss how wicked this world is and the pure evil that exists in some people. And that leads us to Travis Lamar Berkeley. See, he was arraigned on six counts of felony murder this past Sunday. For allegedly, and I'm only saying allegedly for legal purposes, killing six people during a botched robbery at a Milwaukee duplex in January. Mm. Six humans, six people. See, we have to start humanizing these stories because we read these headlines and, mm. you know, we see the numbers, but you understand these are people like Angela Yee, Red, myself, Nick. I'm just pointing at the people in the room. Family that's, members. Fa yes, that's four people. You Friends. listening and driving. That could be you. You that's going to watch on YouTube later. This could be you. You know, and that's how anxiety works, you know, at least for me. When I, when I hear stories like this, I always put myself in the position of the victim. Okay, never fails. I start thinking about what if that was me and five people I love murdered because somebody just decided, you know, they wanted to rob one of us that day. Okay, I try to give people grace and I think about things like uh, mental health. But when it's these plots like this, when people premeditate things and plan things like robberies, murders, yes, something is clearly mentally wrong with them. But you got to figure that out in prison. Because a person who will kill six people in a robbery gone bad doesn't care about me, you, your mama, and your cousin, too. He would do this to anyone, anywhere, so he needs to be off the street. Now, you know the six murders that old English face committed, that's just the top layer. See, this man with a prehistoric face profile not only admitted to his crime, but you know he couldn't leave the scene without a selfie. I, I can't make this kind of stuff up. What? Let's go to CBS 58 for the report, please. Cell phone tracking played a key role in finding Travis Berkeley, who police say took a selfie wearing one of the victim's glasses at the scene of the crime. The defendant took a photo of himself Come in the on, basement man. where three dead bodies were later located. Come on, the man. selfie shows the defendant wearing a pair of what appears to be expensive eyeglasses. Witnesses have told police that the defendant did not wear glasses. The criminal complaint says those glasses likely belong to one of the victims. Police say they were called out to 21st and Wright on January 23rd. Three bodies were found in the basement and three more upstairs, all in rigor mortis. Witnesses say Berkeley apparently worked as security for drug deals that took place where it all happened. The complaint says one confidential witness told police Berkeley had told him about the botched robbery. That witness was later recorded in a phone conversation talking about disposing the guns he said Berkeley and his cousin had used during the shooting. Man, Meek Mill tweeted something yesterday, and it's so true. He said, you really got to be a warrior out here. If you got something going for yourself as a black man, y'all wouldn't understand it. We do to stay alive and out of jail in our culture and still remain with a good head on our shoulders. I totally agree. Okay, the great pastor, Young Jeezy, that is, once said, every day is like a game called a fear factor, and that's how it feels. Okay, if you have a little bit more than the next man, you a target. All right, this man, Travis Lamar Berkeley, took the lives of six people, six humans for some cash, guns, drugs, and sunglasses, and took a selfie with the sunglasses in the basement of the home where he killed these humans and left them there for three days on the day of the murder. What makes you at 34 years old as a black man decide to kill six other black people for some cash, guns, drugs, and sunglasses?
Okay, it is very true when they say, uh, when we don't know who to hate, we hate ourselves. And that hate for yourself will cause you to hate anyone who you cross paths with. And when you have this level of self-hate, you will erase anybody that looks like you with ease simply because you don't deem them worthy to live because you don't deem yourself worthy, period. Now you're about to spend the rest of your life in prison, you know, and for what? And you took the life of six other black people for what? Some cash, guns, drugs, and sunglasses? Please let Remy Ma give Travis Lamar Berkeley the biggest hee-haw. Hee-haw, hee-haw, you stupid mother are you dumb. And I don't know what those six uh, people were into, and I don't care. You know what I mean? To, to reduce them to whatever they were into and say they deserved it because of what they, what they were into, that's dehumanizing them the same way that, you know, Travis Lamar Berkeley did. Right. All right. Well, thank you for that donkey of the day. Man, please pray. My brothers, my sisters, pray for divine protection every day. Ask God to protect you from trouble wherever you go and keep evil far away from you because it is wicked out here. You hear me? I guess good news ended this morning. Well, yeah, I guess. Donkey of the day is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull.